apart from having an interesting book of drives in his own right, Jack Callaghan is also able to shed some light on the very powerful Luke and Belinda McCarthy team on Saturday night. I caught up with Jack during his commitments at Clubman Angle today. Well, Jack, before we look at this interesting uh, card of racing here at Clubman Angle on Saturday night, now, did younger brother Tom go through the pace as well, working for Belinda McCarthy during his work experience? Yeah, he sure did. He had a great time out for the week and, you know, it was a good hand around the stables and I'm sure he learned a lot as well. Did he pull his weight? Yeah, he tried to anyway. <laughs> you say that with a smile. Jack, an interesting book of drives, as I said, but also Luke and Belinda McCarthy have some very interesting runners. In the first, you're driving I Marquez for Peter Russo. Now, Peter, in an interview a couple of weeks ago, said he was looking forward to this fella getting back to the races. Yeah, he's obviously won his last four starts all for Peter, and he's been quite impressive doing it. So, you know, this week's definitely a step up in grade to the Saturday night, but he should have quit himself well. There's also that tricky wide gate. Yeah, that's not in his favour, but um, he can do a bit of work if he has to. So, we'll, you know, I'm not sure how we'll drive him yet, but hopefully he'll be there amongst them. T McCarthy, have I like me better? Very classy performer, coming off a very solid trial performance at Penrith. Yeah, he's he's a pretty nice horse, this guy. He's got plenty of ability when he wants to, and, um, you know, he acquitted himself pretty well down in Melbourne for a campaign earlier on in the summer and had a little break, and he's coming back well. Jack, when you first look at the numbers behind Swaggy Shannon in race two, nicely drawn in gate three, you probably sway away a bit, but has been racing consistently. Yeah, he's been racing really well lately since a little break himself, and Cam's done a good job with him, and, you know, that kind draw will suit his chances. Now, an interesting runner here, and probably one of the uh, X Factors of the night, Major Jealous, a former Kiwi with Belinda. Yeah, he seems like a pretty quality horse. He, he's come over with great credentials, and he's work's been really well so I um, expect a big run from him too. Five Fox draws ice in race three four Jason Grimson barrier one the McCarthy's bright energy and Max Shard and Max Shard's going extremely well as you certainly well know. Yeah for sure Max Shard's in great form you know he acquitted himself well throughout the uh, Carnival of Miracles but it was probably just a little bit early for him coming off a fair layoff so he's been able to freshen up since then and He's put on two really nice wins. How do you see him once again from a wide gate go forward? Uh, I'm not sure what Luke will do yet. You know, he's quite versatile. He's got a bit of gate speed, but he can also be set up and use his high speed. So, you know, I'm not sure what he'll do. Over to race four, the two horses from the McCarthy team, the Honey Queen, which will be your driver and Ferry Tinkerbell, out wide respectively. Yeah, both really quality mares. Um, Ferry Tinkerbell's been racing the boys of late and... She's been running really good sectionals without probably running into the money, so I'd expect her um, to be driven quite aggressive against back to her own sex and be hard to beat. And Honey Queen's coming off a little freshen up as well, but she does race really well fresh and she is a quality mare as well. Over the race six, number one ideal for Dreams, nicely drawn, but the McCarthys have come so high, very smart filly, and has tried outstandingly well. Yeah, she's a quality filly, come so high, she's... Um, She's suited to that mile racing as well, so I'm sure she'll be driven aggressive and she's put a few good runs in and also my drive's coming off the back of a few nice wins for Jack Train with a nice draw, so I expect them both to be good chances. Jake, you are driving in outstanding form, but you're going to need that in a lot more to get Champagne Prince home and the uh, Bullard Trotters Cup. His form's just not up to scratch this time in. Yeah, he has been a bit disappointing this preparation, but his last run on Saturday was probably the best of them, so hopefully he can improve again and and you know, I get a little bit closer to the money. Once again, you take a drive for Peter Russo in the last always rocking, nicely drawn. Yeah, he's been racing well. He he placed here two starts back and then won at Newcastle last Friday, so um, the win will do him plenty of confidence and he should have quit himself well. The McCarthy's have a rainbow delight. Just hasn't performed well at the past two starts. No, she just seems to be lacking a little bit of high speed of late, so her work's been changed up, hopefully bring a bit more speed into her legs and you know, hopefully that will just improve her a bit. Jack, what's the best of your drives and your, what's the best as far as the McCarthy barn is concerned? Uh, the best of my drives would probably, or well, the most I'm probably looking forward to is Firefox. He's obviously a pretty quality horse. He's jumping up in grade a fair bit, but he's got a kind draw and Jason's got a huge opinion of him and thinks he will be better off cover. So I'm excited to get back on him and... You know, probably in the same race, Max Shard's a really quality horse for Luke and Belinda's team, so it's probably those two. I may come so high, one of my better bets on the car. Can you give me some confidence there? Yeah, for sure. She's a she's a really nice filly herself. She's 
um, put in some really good runs of late and she's building towards this race really nice so she'll definitely be a huge chance. Jake, once again, thanks very much for your insight to all those horses. Not a worry.